Today on RCW Uprising, we have Bryce the Slammer Sova going one on one with one half of the RCW Canadian Tag Team Champion Sean Martins, as well in our main event. Dalton Rogue goes one on one with the seven foot giant Orion. Sean Martins. At RCW Uprising, you have the privilege of going one on one against the modern day He Man himself, Bryce the Slammer Sova. And you will face the wrath of 260 pounds of pure nuclear bicep. I don't care if I have to hit you with body slams, power slams, black hole slams, overhead press slams, underhead press slams, or two slams, one cup. The fact of the matter is, you will get slammed. Welcome to the Mr. Real Canadian Wrestling. Tonight we have two action pack matches on this episode. With that being said, Fountain will be your first match of the show. This match is going to be a one fall with 20 minute time limit. You're going to three, eight and six. Hello friends, and thank you for tuning into RCW Uprising. For those of you who don't know me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sean Saunders, and I'll be joining you this week as we get to take a look at a couple of very interesting matchups. Our main event will feature Dalton Rogue continuing his comeback against THE Giant Orion. But before we get to that, we've got a battle of two highly skilled veterans, albeit in very different ways, in headline Sean Martins, and the man about to make his way to the ring, Slammer. Talk about a man on a mission. Slammer makes his way to the ring today looking to carry on his winning ways in RCW. Now these two are not strangers to one another. They've actually teamed up and faced each other previously on the infamous Tony Condello Death Tours. At one point Slammer even defeated Martins for the WFWA Heavyweight title. Speaking of titles, Slammer has uh, got quite the past himself. He's a former two-time RCW Canadian Heavyweight Champion, and if you can believe it, actually a former RCW Mid-Heavyweight Champion. Slammer's been wrestling for 21 years, but really he's been fighting all his life. His entire youth was spent in and out of the Slammer, hence the name. Legend has it. The C block of Edmonton Institution is where he actually first crossed paths with another RCW lunatic, Vince Austin. A little bit of trash talking by Sean Martins to psych out his opponent, but I'm not too sure you can psych out a psycho. Referee Avon Fox getting an unsolicited job eval there. Sounds like he fails to meet expectations. Both men lock up. Martins pushes Slammer into the corner. He may not match Slammer when it comes to power, but don't sleep on the strength Martins possesses. This guy lives in the gym. Clearly no man is afraid of the other, as they get ready to lock up again. Yes. 
For those who don't know, Sean Martins is not just one of the most decorated wrestlers in RCW, but in all of Canada. This man has wrestled in more territories than Steven Stiles has killed, and he's been a champion in every one of them. Martins also comes with quite the pedigree. He comes from a legendary coaching tree, having been trained by Dan Crawford and Rick Bogner, aka Big Titan. And both of those men were trained by Mr. Hito, who also had a hand in trading some guy you may have heard of named Bret Hart. And if that's not enough, he's a three-time provincial gold medalist in Kodokan Judo, where he holds a brown belt. So you know this guy has all the tools it takes to be successful in that ring. Just like that, we have the first slam of the match. The slammer, oh, hits the second slam. Goes for the cover and hooks the leg. Oh, a two count. Sounds like he's going for slam number three. Oh, Martin stops him dead in his tracks with a knee to the gut. Martin's going for a suplex, but Slammer's having none of that. And slam number three. Martin's just in trouble already. tried for slam number four but he made the mistake of telling Martins about it first. You can't let someone as smart as Martins know what you're going to do before you do it. Martins goes for the cover after that back suplex and following it up with a series of closed fists hits the ropes and drops a knee right on Slammer's face. Two count though and drops another knee right into Slammer's back this time. Martins is really turning on the aggression right now. Even as he pulls Slammer's arms behind him, stretching out those front deltoids, he's driving his knee into Slammer's back. Slammer's muscles have to be screaming from all directions. Slammer says he'll never give in, never give in, but Martins has to be wearing him down. Oh, Martins diverted that crisis with a kick to the stomach and a quick back suplex. Sorry, quick regular suplex. Goes for a cover but only gets two. A little bit of yelling at the ref, but hey, it's not the ref's fault you didn't hook the leg, Sean. Now he's, he's choking him against the ropes. Come on! Friends, I'm being told Sean Martins has a clause that requires me to plug his various social media accounts. I don't know why management would agree to this, but reluctantly I will, because I'm a company guy. So for all your Sean Martins merchandise, go to SeanMartins.com. You can find him on Facebook and Instagram by searching for headline Sean Martins. And on Twitter, he's at Sean Martins. Make sure to get on all of those and let him know what you think of him. As we get back to the action here, reversal from Slammer. Scoop power slam. Goes for the cover. He hooked the leg, but Martin's too strong to hold down for the three right now. Both men slow to get up. It's clear these two powerhouses have taken a lot out of each other. Be interesting to see who gets up first here. Will either of them get up first? Well, it looks like they're they're coming to. Martin's with the first fist. Slammer answers and Martin comes back. Look at the haymakers getting tossed here. Oh. Listen to those nuclear biceps slamming into Sean Martin's. Big Lariat sends Martins out of the ring. Well, since I mentioned Sean Martin's socials, it's only fair I take this chance to remind you. You can follow Slammer on Instagram at Slammer underscore Sova. 
Good luck finding him on Facebook, though. He's been banned from there more times than Steven Stiles at Yang Ming Buffet. Martins is really making use of the 10 count outside. Holy Jesus, a flying slammer. He may not have connected fully there, but when you're that nuclear, your damage rate is, radius is enormous. Slammer brings him back into the ring and joins him. Slammer looks to be loading up that biceps. But Martins hits him with a Michinoku driver. How did Martins manage that? And how did Slammer not get finished there? Martins looks like he's had enough of this. Dragging him over to the corner. Yeah, exposes the knee. He's about to finish him with that top rope knee drop. If he hits Slammer with this, he's done. Oh, Slammer, Slammer, Slammer cuts him off. Big fist to the face. And another one. Oh, Slammer hits him with the slam jam. That's got to be it. It's got to be over. He caught his foot on the ropes. Unbelievable. Sean Martin's escaped certain defeat by the skin of his teeth. That, that is years of experience coming in handy at the exact right moment there, friends. Slam 5 coming. Martin's escaped it. But Slammer comes back with a massive nuclear lariat. Nuclear lariat. Is that enough? Yes. Slammer gets the win here tonight on RCW Uprising. He is the modern day He-Man. He is the Sultan of Slam. And tomorrow the headline will read, Slammer victorious over Sean Martins. What a physical war we just witnessed, friends. I think both of the gladiators here will be feeling this one for a while. KB6, and you're watching RCW Uprising. It's not time for tonight's main event of the evening. This match is a return grudge match, and it's scheduled for one fall. Main event time here, friends. Ian Smalls. The giant Orion coming out looking as intense as ever, barely fit through the entranceway. If you tuned in last week to RCW Uprising, you know him and RCW Canadian heavyweight champion Heavy Metal have some unfinished business. Those two have been on a collision course for a long time it seems. Just me, or does Orion look more jacked than ever? It looks like he spent the entire pandemic in the gym. I hope AHS isn't watching. Here we see Dalton Rogue making his third consecutive appearance on RCW Uprising. Make sure to find him on Twitter and Instagram at the real underscore Dalton Road. Giving up a lot of size here, but he's got quite the athletic ability. Not a whole lot is known about Orion other than he's got a background in MMA and boxing 
And we know he likes to use the choke slam to finish his opponents. Make uh, make sure to look for O'Ryan to use his size advantage here. Just sends him in the corner. Look at that strength. The Rogue's got the quickness, and he's already using it. Quickness and agility. Dodged the bullet there. Ryan's already having trouble. Hits him with the springboard, but he gets caught. Caught in midair. He's just too strong. Ooh, it looked like Rogue dodged the middle concussion right there. Orion has to know about Rogue's previous head injuries. He's got to be planning to use that as a weak point. a little bit of overconfidence on Rogue's part there and he paid the price. You're just not going to be able to lift Orion off his feet that easily. Orion looks like he's going to try to finish him right here with a powerbomb. Oh, Rogue saw that too and he's fighting maybe literally for his life to escape and he does. Forearm. Running forearm. He may have the giant stun. But again, Rogue gets caught in the massive paws of Orion. It looks like he's he's on his shoulder, setting him up for a Death Valley driver, but he escapes on his feet. Kick to the leg. Another kick to the leg. Another one. And a punch to the leg. I think Rogue has finally realized he needs to switch his strategies here and chop the big man down with those leg kicks. Especially if he wants to hit him with a sitting phenomenal forearm. As we mentioned, this is Rogue's third match back since coming back from the concussion. You have to admire Dalton Rogue's courage since coming back from that injury. He's faced KB6, Heavy Metal, and now the giant Orion who just hit him with a size 17 boot in the face. That should buy him some time. Those aren't scrubs though to be coming back from. Those are the cream of the crop in RCW. And I can't help but wonder if What's going through his mind right now? Has it been too much too soon? Orion's showing a little bit of discomfort in that leg. He might be starting to cramp up from those kicks. Oh Jesus. Can you imagine what a body slam from 8 feet in the air must feel like? If he wasn't questioning things before, he has to be now. Orion drops a leg down from high up. But that may have hurt him more than Rogue. Goes for the cover. And Rogue kicks out at two. You can see that leg is starting to become a real issue. I think he's regretting that leg drop too. Especially after not getting the pinfall. Just a blatantly illegal choke. Just a blatantly illegal choke. Stalking him into the corner there, just raining fists down on him, pummeling Rogue in the corner. I think we've got ourselves a pissed off giant. He did not expect to have this much trouble with his smaller opponents. Again, he's got him in his clutches. And Rogue escapes again. Oh, desperation chop lock by Rogue, and O'Brien is down on his knees. Oh. What a devastating clothesline from Orion. Somebody get Chris Nowinski in here to check on him. Orion with the cover. Hey, bro. Escapes just barely. That had to be instinct, though. I don't think he even knows where he is right now. Grabs him by the throat. It looks like Orion's setting him up for the choke slam. I do not know if Dalton can survive this. Oh! Dalton turns it into a hard Conrader that sends the giant right into the corner. Follows it up with a huge running knee. 
looks like he's coming in for another one. Oh, Orion catches him again like he's nothing. What's he going to do here? Friends, he just launched a grown man over his head all the way across the ring to the floor. How strong is he? I don't know, it's hard to imagine any more vlogs coming on Rogue's YouTube channel, Dalton and Bobby, after that. Make sure to head on over there after this match and give him a subscribe. Referee Ian Small is starting to count. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it back in after that, friends. He's on his feet, though. It looks like he's going to try. But Orion looks like he wants to make it happen on his terms. Oh, my God. God. He just lifted him straight off the floor by his throat and chokeslammed him into the ring. And it's over. He was never getting up from that. There was no way. I don't know who could. Friends, give him credit. Dalton Rogue is fighting spirit personified. He demonstrated that in this match and in his life. But tonight he just wasn't ready to match up with the size and power and ferociousness of the giant Orion who gets the win and shows why he is one of the top contenders for the RCW Canadian Heavyweight Championship. Friends, speaking of that, if you want to stay up to date and find out when he might get that title shot, be sure to follow Real Canadian Wrestling on Facebook and Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, for all of those here at our... What's... Oh, come on! Leave the man alone! You got your win! He doesn't deserve this! Heavy Metal! Heavy Metal! Heavy Metal is going to stop this. Breaks out of the Giants' clutch. Again, he's got a clutch. Again, he breaks out and hits him with a super kick. That super kick barely even faced him. Orion has got the death grip on him. He's choking the life out of him. Metal's trying to fight up, but he's fading fast. Friends, the giant Orion has sent a message here tonight, loud and clear. He wants that title. And I, for one, can't wait to see what happens when he gets his shot. 